Hello, I'm Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and today we're going to configure our Vim a little bit to get the kind of color coding you see here. Now I said yesterday I don't like to configure Vim very much because I like to sit down at almost any system and be comfortable and that's true, but there's a few things I like, like the color coding that you can see, set, see here in the syntax command and I have a number of other little things like that in here, like setting my column widths and my indents and that sort of stuff. So I am going to copy and paste from this old server into my new Raspberry Pi server. And that in itself is worthy of a video because copying and pasting between uh, different servers has all kinds of strange issues related to the terminal and the copy buffer. So I'll walk you through them on the Mac Details may vary on your desktop on Windows with PuTTY. Copying and pasting between terminals is very challenging. And on uh, Ubuntu, a little bit less so. So, there's two types of highlights in Vim. There's an operating system highlight and there is a Vim terminal highlight. We need to not use the Vim terminal highlight, which looks like this. If I do Shift V, you'll see me highlighting lines with Vim. I'll escape out of that. I'm going to hold the command key and I'm going to start from that top line and drag down. I highlight the whole thing and then I do command C for copy. So I held the command to highlight and then I held command C for copy. Now I'm going to go into, you can see we're still in the MLSEO subdirectory and if I LS I would see the files from our project. We want to cd to home, which is cd space tilde, which would essentially do the same thing in this case as cd dot dot because we're in a subdirectory of home. So either one will bring us one directory level up. So if I ls, we'll see the ml SEO directory, but there's other hidden files there, which we can see if I do ls space la lists all files. And you can see we don't have a .vimrc, which is the one I'm interested in making today. So when you invoke vim and give it a file name, it will make that file name on your first save if it wasn't there previously. And I'm going to show you about one of the most annoying things about vim, which you'll get used to over time, and you'll get used to me saying that a lot is how paste works. So I go into insert mode and then I do an operating system paste and those familiar with Vim know what you're about to see. Hey, it didn't, it didn't work it, or it didn't go wrong. Normally this goes wrong because things with a lot of indenting uh, Python tries to figure out because an operating system paste is the same as typing and all the auto sensing to do your indenting is in effect. But I'm going to undo that paste just so that I can show you how to go into paste mode to deal with accidental indents on a paste. So you hit the colon to go into command mode. You just go set paste. Now you go into insert mode and you do option V. And if anything went wrong before, it would not go wrong this time. A few things I need to delete out of this before I save because all these little caret key m key, caret key m's are really control key sequences that got converted to normal text and they won't do what they're intended to do unless I retyped it. So I'm going to hit the escape key, D, D for delete line, simple as that. And uh, let's see, I'm going to go to the top of the page. I have one reference to a file that isn't on here yet color scheme blackboard DD but all the rest of it is pretty good yep I like so I do escape colon W for write Q for quit and then I actually go right back into it up oh, error detected while processing no previous interesting well I might have something wrong in there but as you can see we instantly have the color coding which was not there before. And let me read that error. Error detected while processing the, oh, line 39. 
No previous substitute. Okay, so another little Vim lesson. We'll go into the file, and to jump to line 39, we do command mode, and then we just type the line number, 39. What it doesn't like is this bottom line, which is a tilde, which is usually just a uh, empty character. So I'm going to delete that, escape, colon, W, Q, and then go back into it again. Hey, error gone, all fixed. It probably had to do with copy and paste, converting something that was previously a control character into literal text. That can be another problem. But now I can CD into MLSEO and Vim my index file. And now we have color coding on HTML. I will try and post my Vim RC on MikeLevinSEO.com, so I have my first little piece of content for you. And uh, that's the whole video. I think that crammed a lot of uh, Vim nuance into a short time period, understand the issues you just saw, and you'll know a lot of Vim. It seems like you shouldn't have to learn this stuff, but the payoff is learn a little arcane knowledge and let that arcane knowledge last for 10, 20, 30 years. Thanks for joining me, and I'll talk to you soon, and don't forget to subscribe.